Appalachian Outdoors back out here with you. I am uh, sitting in the garage. Shade's finally come over to cool off a little bit. Got the fire pit I cleaned up here and I figured I'd play around a little bit and show you another knife. Play around with it a little bit and test out another cheap fire steel that I picked up at a little uh, tool store in Tennessee. Figured I'd give it a shot. Sorry about the noise there, motorcycle going down the road. This is the Condor Bush Lure. My car to handles, 1075 steel, about a four and a quarter inch blade, uh, right at an eighth inch thick, just a f maybe a fuzz under, but right at an eighth inch thick. A sharp spine on it. It's a scandy grind, but I don't it's not really a zero degree skin the ground. It's got a real small edge on it there, but Condor calls it a scandy, so. But, uh, these are, when they first come out, it's probably the best bang for your buck. And a bushcraft knife. Uh, you could get the wood handle, just like this, with the same steel and everything, but with the wood handle. They were like 30 or $35. Uh, you get the micarta, it was like 50 or 55. But now, today if you go try to order one, you get the wood handle, they're like 50 or 55, and then my card is like 80 or 85. So I don't, I won't say that they're the best bang for your buck anymore because uh, a Mora Garberg will, to me, in my opinion, is a much better knife than this knife as far as fit and finish quality, the steel, uh, overall performance. Uh, like I said, back in the day, it was hard to beat for 30 bucks. But uh, prices went up and quality not so much. They're still about the same. These are produced in uh, El Salvador. They do have great customer service. They do back up their uh, knives, their tools. Uh, I will say that about them. They're really good about that. And they've got a lot of nice tools out there and a lot better steel out there now. But the price is also up there with them for what you pay for them. You could actually buy, you know, in my opinion, a better knife for what they charge now. So I really don't feel with the Condor that much anymore. Let's get around and play with it a little bit and see what we got. And this knife is not factory sharp. I've played with it. I've carried it. I've used it quite a bit as far as out. When I first got it, I used it a lot. Uh, I took it on a lot of little hikes and out playing with it and that sort of thing, trying it out. As you can see from the blade, it's got the scuffed up pretty good. I've batoned with it. I've done a little bit of everything. This steel, this 1075 steel that they use, it's kind of soft. Uh, if you don't mind keeping your knife touched up while you're out using it in the field, uh, then you'll like it. But if it's something you don't want to have to fool with knife edge maintenance, because these don't hold an edge very long, or don't seem to for me anyway, I'm always stropping it and keeping it touched up right after use. Uh, it will take a really, really sharp edge, scary edge. It just doesn't hold it very long. But, uh, we'll play around with it a little bit and see. Uh, I've had several Condor knives over the years and I've ended up selling, trading, whatever, and just moving them all out. They just kind of price themselves out for what they are, in my opinion. I mean, for what you pay for a Condor now, with the dead material, in my opinion, the cheaper steels, you can buy an AC or almost, you know, tops AC caliber knife. Uh, more Garberg, you know, you can get those in the stainless for like, I don't know, 60 or 70 bucks or something if you shop around. Uh, and I would much rather have the Garberg as this for the price. Will this work? Yep, it will. You can see it's making some little fine curls there. Let's see if we can get it going right here. Get some more little fine shavings down.
This is old sycamore wood. It is pretty tough. Not probably not the best to be. Just trying to shave around with. Not the softest of wood anyway. But I had some laying around. I figured I'd and whittle with it a little bit. I started fires with it before plenty of times, no issues. A little bitty piece of cedar wood here. It's a whole lot softer. It will make nice fuzz stick. Like I said, sycamore is a little tougher to fool with. Not a really a true hardwood like oak or hickory, but it's tougher than poplar or pine or anything like that. We got this nice little pile here. Check the spine out on this thing and see how it does. Not as sharp. Like I said, I have used this knife quite a bit in its defense. The spine's not as sharp as it was when I first got it. It shaves a little bit, but it will work with a fair rubber now. come from a little tool store in Tennessee. They sell a bunch of little, I know you've seen them, it's called The Tool Store. Uh, sell a bunch of off-brand tools and screwdrivers and bits and drill bits and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, they had these for like three bucks. It's got your fair seam rod here. You can see where it's separated. And then on this, all this is magnesium. And you just scrape you off a little pile of it here in your pile. You can see it flaking off there. I'll try and get it in the camera here. You can see it a little better. Try to zoom in just a little bit. I like to buy these little odd and fire steels and magnesium blocks and get out and play with them and just see what actually works and if they're actually worth it or if they're just gimmicky and cheap. I've had some fire steels that were too hard to really do anything, couldn't hardly take us apart. And I've had some that were really soft and didn't last long and then some that's just right. I've had everything from wipe my fires to Exotech to Firesteel.com, I've had Gobspark, Bayat from Amazon and eBay, and a bunch of no name off of Amazon and eBay. I've tried a little bit of everything. I started a fire with a little bit of everything, some a little harder than others. But you can see all the little metal magnesium, I guess, all shaved into it here. Try to get it all in a nice, neat little pile.
And we'll flip over fair serum rod side. Cut out just a little bit so we can see a little better now. Yeah. Not the best, but let's see what it'll do. Let it right here like this. Mm, let me give it a shot. Well, wow. took right off. There you go. Fire with a condor bush lower and a cheap ferro rod. Hope you enjoyed. Watching Outdoors out. God bless.